rod. What's up guys? We're back here at GamePod Combat Zone in Antioch, California. And today we get to test and review the gun that's not on the market yet, but the Apex CQB. This is the Apex Carbine CQBR. It's a full metal AEG brought to you by Six Minute Gunworks in California. We were lucky to get our hands on a pre-production model of this AEG and take it out for a skirmish report. This full metal AEG is built with quality from the ground up. From the highly detailed RAS to the flat matte finish on the metal body, this gun looks and feels just magnificent. Engraved on both sides of the receiver are the unique Apex logos which gives this gun a very distinctive look. Standard on all Apex AEGs is a ambidextrous magazine release as you can see here. The electric blowback system is pretty cool and responsive and did not hinder the performance one bit. It also has a fully functional bolt catch system. As you can see you lock back the bolt and it makes hop adjustment a lot easier. This has a one piece metal hop up unit and is very easy to adjust. Has a directional wheel pointing in the direction which would give more hop up and has very distinctive clicks to know exactly how much hop up has been administered. The full metal RAS is perfect for adding any accessory of your choice. And a vertical foregrip is included with the gun. The ergonomic pistol grip is textured for positive grip and feels very comfortable. Also standard is an ambidextrous style single point sling loop at the rear of the gun. The 6 position crane stock is very easy to adjust and can house a very large battery either nunchuck style or crane style batteries or even a buffer tube lipo. It's all up to the user. And to install the battery, the buttstock must be removed first. And once the buttstock is removed, this will expose the wiring to plug into your battery. The CQBR has a standard M4 style front sight with an adjustable front sight post. The rear flip up sight is all metal and has an adjustable windage and elevation knobs and creates a crisp sight picture. So we rated this thing a 5 out of 5 for realism. So let's go ahead and take a look at the internals of this Apex AEG video clip courtesy of 6mm Gunworks. Standard are 9mm bearing bushings. The lower resistance wire harness enhances the performance and allows for 11.1 volt lipos to be used right out of the box. The metal trigger is standard like any other M4 or AR type AEG. The cylinder head has two O-rings to ensure a tight seal inside of the cylinder, and a standard aluminum cylinder ported at the end. The air seal nozzle has an O-ring built in to maximize compression. The high torque stainless steel gear set proved to be rugged and durable as we shot thousands of rounds with this gun with little to no wear. And a standard version 2 ABS tappet plate. The polycarbonate piston with aluminum piston head are a great combination and work perfectly in this gun. And with an enhanced version 2 spring guide with bearing. The enhanced version 2 gearbox with blowback is built to last. And each model includes a 6.03mm type bore barrel already installed. The new designed one piece metal hop up unit allows for better feeding and has a very precise adjustment knob with distinct clicks while adjusting. The quick change spring system is pretty easy to manipulate. Use either a large hex wrench or flathead screwdriver, twist the spring at a 45 degree angle and carefully release the spring. And if you want to install a new spring, just do the reverse and be very careful as the spring has a lot of tension. As you can see, this gearbox is built extremely well from the exterior to the interior with a metal selector plate for more positive and precise selection from fire modes from safe, full auto, and semi-auto. So we rated this a 5 out of 5 for quality. The included 300 round magazine feeds and works flawlessly. We had no problems with it and it's very easy to load, much like any other high cap. Open up the top trap door, pour your BBs in, close the door, and wind the bottom. Usually wind 20 to 25 times until there's enough tension on the spring to feed all the BBs. And for the chrono test, we used AEX 0.2 gram BBs and an AEX 11.1 volt LiPo battery. The gun shot roughly 370 to 380 feet per second with around 1200 rounds per minute on full auto. Quite impressive. Alright guys, let's go see how it does.
All right, we're back here at Game Pod Combat Zone in Antioch, California. And this place is gigantic. I'm not sure if you've ever been here or not, but it's about 120,000 square feet. It has vehicles, buildings, a school, an airport, police station, fire station, even a basketball court. So everything you can think of on the real world is in this place in a much smaller scale, but it's huge inside for Airsoft. The Apex Carbine CQBR is lightweight, very compact, and is very easy to maneuver around buildings, inside and outside of cars, you name it. This thing is great for just about any type of airsoft field. We were thoroughly impressed with the Apex Carbine CQBR as this is a pre-production model. And this Apex Carbine CQBR performed beautifully. We were able to hit targets at long ranges, short ranges, you, you name it. No problems feeding, no problems uh, with accuracy, no problems with distance. It just fed BBs non-stop and just had a blast with the gun. So we gave it an overall 5 out of 5 for performance. And at a retail price of under $300 at $279.99, we gave it a 5 out of 5 for value. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the overall results of the Apex Carbine CQBR. We gave it a 5 out of 5 on realism, a 5 out of 5 on quality, 5 out of 5 on performance, and a 5 out of 5 on value for overall 5 out of 5. The Apex CQBR and all other Apex guns are now available for pre-order at airsoftextreme.com. So call, click, or stop on by. And thanks for watching.